When Eudora dedicated its new district stadium last fall, it was intended not only to serve students, but the community as well. Now, well, last month, vandals struck, prompting the stadium's immediate closure. This week it reopened. Tim Hellick has the story. The big attraction at the $2 million facility, an artificial playing surface and rubberized track. Back in July, though, vandals played a damage game of their own, spray painting graffiti on a concession building and... We noticed that uh, the, the logo at midfield had been vandalized as well, and uh, along with the track. Remmers and his crew quickly cleaned up the building graffiti, but had a bigger challenge with paint on the field. Knew that we couldn't just use any type of a, a cleaning product on it because you would run the risk of, of um, fading the fibers or you know, deteriorating them. After contacting the manufacturer, Remmers received a call from Tom Schultz. I actually heard that their field was vandalized, and I thought, you know, that's something that could take place on our field as well here at UMKC. Schultz is the assistant director of Swinney Recreational Center. We have a large intramural program here. We put lines on daily, take them off daily. So in order for us to do that, which is temporary paint, we need a machine like this to take them off. Remmers and his crew used the scrubber machine and a cleaning chemical. After several passes, the spray paint was gone. Closed for six weeks, the stadium reopened Monday. It was really important to us to get it open, uh, not only to our students, but, but to the community as well. The Cardinal community is back on track. In Eudora, Tim Hellick, NBC Action News.